I had a thing ready and I clicked it off and I lost my tape so we're gonna redo it um, anyway you missing all my blunders and goof ups and everything else but we'll I'll try to entertain you just as much first thing I did was I went down here to the printing dialog box and I clicked this print document and I drag it we'll go ahead and do another one and I'll delete it I drag it over there and that created me and then but I'm deleting I don't want him and anyway then whenever I was on there we went to the properties and we had a print page and the code this is the code we put into the print page part of that and I left this commented out one deliberately so you can see where you would have a um, specific printer you wanted to use rather than default pr printers and in other programs I've got really complex printer picking routines and stuff but anyway we're not going to do that for this and um, then another thing we did was I went over here and this here I created me another hidden text box like we did before and I called him text to print text box and then we created a button and I called that print extract button and he also has a procedure a click procedure and in his click procedure um, I just went ahead and add, kept this because um, I'm going to use it later so I thought well we'll do that we uh, did a method called or a procedure called print extract report and all we did that was the header and um, these common ones here I've got those I just left them commented out to kind of help me because um, I used to when I first did this you know I used to just send it to the printer and if you was just printing one page report that was dandy it worked well well I found out the hard way really close deadlines or something that if you had more than one page it just didn't keep printing pages so I have to have a page count a line counting routine to do it uh, one at a time and it's no big deal I learned all that 20 years ago when I was taking COBOL and RPG and everything else but I didn't know that it wasn't gonna work anyway so what we're gonna do is in our print extract routine we're going to all today all we're going to do is print out a header we've created a variable called header and I've given it all this big long thing and I've commented out the first two lines on it because they want dates and things that are held in variables that we have not created yet and then I said okay this text to print is equal to header and later down the road what we're going to do is we'll keep adding to text to print equals text to print plus other stuff and then after we get a certain number of lines we'll send out the page and start clear out text to print and start it over again and till we're all done and then at the very end you force out the last page and um, this is how you force the page out right here um, I said like text to print text box equals text to print and then then I put the text to print equals header which on this particular one we didn't have to have that I guess I left it in because I had like a line counter I said like I, I X is greater than 50 do this and I just copied the code that was on the inside and sent it to it now on this one I said landscape was equal to true but you could have said false and um, and if you don't don't do anything it keeps it at false but then if you're switching back and forth in between the same program it'll remember the last thing you use so it's best to go ahead and set it every time and then we went up there and said print document and then we saved it and we ran it run it excuse me now I do not have a printer attached to this laptop mine goes to an FPD document so it's gonna look a little different than yours if you have a printer it's gonna go directly to the printer and you know just like you're printing anything but mine's gonna ask me to save the file name which is again I'm gonna say document and I've used it before and so it's gonna create this and then it's gonna open it up for me but like when I'm at work doing this kind of stuff it just goes to the printer and 